integrate sine x times the sine of the cosine of x solution. So it looks like a u substitution is a good strategy to try. So typically u is what's inside your trig function. So we'll let u be equal to cosine x. So u is equal to cosine x. Now we'll take the derivative of both sides. The derivative of u is du. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So we get negative sine x dx. Now we just have to eliminate the negative sign. So we can multiply both sides by negative 1. So negative du is equal to sine x dx. And the reason we did that is because we want to make this look like what's in our integral. So here we have sine x dx, and now we've accomplished that. Sine x dx can be replaced with negative du. So now we can make our substitution into the integral. So we're replacing sine x dx with negative du. We have this. What's left over is sine of cosine x, but we said cosine x was u. Okay, we can think of this as a negative sine u, and I did that on purpose. Right? I put the negative back inside because when you're integrating negative sine, it's pretty easy. It's just cosine because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So here we have cosine u plus c. And then we said u was cosine x. So this is cosine of the cosine of x. Fun stuff. Plus our constant of integration, capital C. So kind of a cool problem. Uh, it looks really scary, but uh, you make a substitution and you go from there and it's not too bad. I hope that made sense.